Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 16212. This build includes some noteworthy changes and enhancements over the last public preview build, which was 16199. Now before we go any further, it's worth noting that this build isn't actually a build that people should be using. Microsoft accidentally pushed it out to 32-bit PCs who were in the Insider program, and I believe some that weren't in the Insider program. Uh, so that build was rolling out and installed on some devices, uh, but Microsoft has since pulled this build. And the reason they pulled it is because one, it wasn't the build they intended to go out, and two, it's from an internal development branch. As you can see down here, this is build RS underscore edge underscore case. So this is an internal development branch for, I guess, the edge app and um, it's not supposed to be in public hands but hey here we are I have it now uh, so let's uh, showcase what is actually new and to be fair there isn't a lot new so uh, let's actually show you what has changed if we go to settings here you'll see that the Cortana option here has moved from being last to being third from last which I think is a much better place for it it didn't make sense having Cortana be last in the settings app although I would like to see Cortana swap places with gaming because I feel like Cortana should be center of settings yep but that's that's one change moving along uh the personalization area now has a new option called video playback which doesn't do anything right now if you click it it simply crashes the settings app but i'm guessing microsoft are working on adding some video playback options into the settings app uh, and if we go into the all apps area here you'll see that there's a new app called microsoft text input application now i believe this is going to be a new on-screen keyboard for PCs, phones, and whatever else can run Windows 10, except right now it doesn't work. So until it works, uh, we can't really show it. But, but yeah, that's what it looks like so far, which is nice, I guess. Uh, there's also a balloon icon on the start menu now, which uh, is also pretty nice. I guess that's just there for engineers to see whether behind the scenes code is running or not and in this case I guess it is uh, a bunch of fluent apps now I know fluent apps aren't new now at this point but since I haven't shown them yet I might as well do it here a bunch of apps now have some fluent design as you can see here such as highlighting and slight transparency behind them with blur and whatnot and different sort of animations and hover effects all looking very nice also in the uh, Groove Music app here as uh, you can see on the hand and the sidebar here and again it's slightly transparent so you can see what's behind it and whatnot the edge app where the actual like splash logo is gray instead of blue now i guess that could be a bug or maybe they're working on some ui changes uh, that where that change will make sense at some point but uh, right now it doesn't so if we look in cortana here you'll see that uh, these there's some slight sort of rounded tips now i don't i don't think this is new in this build but it's something i've noticed and haven't seen before so there you go. Apart from that, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.